Hey everyone. It is Tuesday when I'm recording this. When you see it, who knows? I do have the TARDIS mug filled with decaffeinated coffee that I didn't make very well and kind of sucks. Saturday, this weekend. Fascinating weekend. Uh, I really need people to stop being such jerks. Saturday during the day, I went to the grocery store to get some, some snacks because my friend and I were going to have some drinks in the evening and we're going to go to the bar. It was going to be fantastic. During my time at the grocery store, it reminded me that some people are just assholes and it's unfortunate because we live in a time where there's a lot of negative stuff going on in the world and we really need to get our shit together and be good people. And maybe that sounds really, really lame. It might, but I'm okay with that because I try really hard to be a positive person. And I have my days just like everyone else where you're gonna, you're just not gonna be in good mood, but you gotta try to your best. I just say try your best and I try really hard to be nice to people in the customer service industry because that is an extraordinarily hard job and people can make or break your day. I was in the, going back to Saturday, I was in the grocery store and this lady, oh this poor girl, there's nothing this poor cashier could do to appease the god that is this giant woman and her price tag of 69 cents where the cashier was pretty sure it was $1.69 and then they kind of got in an argument and then the final total came up and then the giant woman could not afford it so things had to be rang off and the woman was mad because things aren't priced right you should price things better in your store because you know that's the cashier's fault yeah it just drives me crazy because i've worked in customer service i know how this works and it, it works the other way too i mean you're working your job and i've been in the situation where i've been at work in at a grocery store and just not wanting to be there and i hated the world you gotta try really hard to put a smile on. And I know it's hard, but there's one girl that worked at a coffee shop in town. I would just like to smack her. I'm like, can you please just do your job and pay attention to what's going on in life because you are so not here. So continuing on the jerk, people are jerks story. We went to the bar that night. A situation, a situation, a thing happened where I was like, really, you were such a jerk. It was almost bad, but it wasn't. It was just a lot of swearing and a lot of name calling. Uh, what happened was there was a girl, she's probably 25, and there was an older gentleman, he's probably like 45. Let's go with that. We'll call the girl Penny, and we'll call the guy John. John was with his wife, and Penny was with her boyfriend. Now what happened was Penny came up beside John, sort of, and kind of snapped a photo. John did not notice this happen. Penny went back to doing what she was doing, and then she came back and talked to John about something. John got really mad. I feel like she offended him, but didn't mean to. Because the way she wasn't, like, yelling at him, she said something, and he got upset and started calling her a lot of very rude names. Penny kind of walked away. Uh, John's wife was trying to kind of calm him down. So Penny's doing whatever with her boyfriend, and then John continues to mumble about this girl and how much she's disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. And the girl has left, like, the conversation. The situation is over. It's done. The guy goes back. John gets in Penny's face, like, yelling again, calling her a bunch of rude names. And suddenly now... The boyfriend tries to step in and be like, hey buddy, and then the wife comes over and starts yelling at the girl too, and then they're all yelling at each other, and I'm like, holy crap, the situation was over, and you just, you keep feeding it because you're drunk and stupid. That was our night. And then we went home and we ate a bowl of cereal. I feel like you should just try to be nicer to people. I know that's hard, and I'm not the best person to be saying you should do this, because for the most part, when I walk downtown anywhere, I look like I want to punch everybody. Mostly because downtown's a little bit sketchy sometimes and it's like a, it's a deterrent kind of. My deterrent face, stay away, I don't want to talk to you probably. Unless someone's being a total jerk first, there's no reason you should just be a jerk. You should try to be a smiley happy person. I need to work on it. Everyone sort of does. And I can feel if we all did, it'd be a better place. So that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or comment. If you have any stories about someone you've encountered that's an asshole, I would love to hear them. You can write them down below in the comment section where the comments go. Yeah, so I'll see you next video and uh, have a good night or morning. Ow, I'm gonna hurt my neck. I was woke up by not only these trolleys going flying down the street at one o'clock in the morning, but around 3 a.m. I woke up to this terrifying scream from outside, and I guess it was a homeless lady that does this often.